In this segment, I'll be showing you how to install and initialize a K-Speed tuned ECU. Hey guys, JD here with the 2022 Kawasaki Ultra 310 LXS. And today I'm gonna to be installing our tuned K-Speed ECU that's part of the K-Speed Stage 1 kit. Yesterday I did a video on the intake grate. I did an unboxing video of the whole kit and today we're gonna to install the ECU. So this is probably the easiest part. This compartment right here is held on by a couple of these just push-in clips. So really you just get your fingers in there and pull them out. Not much to it really. All right. Then you can see our ECU is right here. Now you just got to disconnect these two connectors and pop them off. I'm going to need two hands to do it, so I'm going to set the phone down and then I will show you. So here's our stock ECU that we're removing from the ski. You can see from the logo there, these actually are manufactured by Mitsubishi. All right, let's get the K-Speed ECU, get it in and get it initialized. All right, so we have our instructions here from K-Speed. Uh, they're basically just telling you um, that this does include the recall file from Kawasaki for the knock sensor. If you do take this back to your dealer at some point, um, the dealer might overwrite their tune. Obviously, I have two ECUs, so that won't be an issue. So then let's take a look at their instructions here. So the first thing is we're going to get the, the ECU installed, and um, then we'll get on to the rest of the directions here. So to get this installed is very, very easy. You have a gray plug and a black plug, gray plug and black plug. So you go ahead, connect that, get those two 10, min, 10 millimeter bolts back in and you are good to go. It's just plastic, so you don't need to over tighten it. Just make it tight enough so that the ECU is not gonna bounce around in there. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and snap this panel back in and then we're good to go. We'll do the, the instructions here with the key and get the ECU initialized next. We're now gonna come over here to the handlebars. Here's our instructions from K-Speed. We're gonna follow them directly. All right, so insert the key into the dash and allow it to start up. Remove the key, repeat this process three times. Okay. All right, we did the first time, second time. Now we're gonna do it a third time. That's our third time. All right, so we're gonna give the ski a moment to find the GPS signal. You can see the GPS light is on there. Should find the signal any moment now. There we go. All right, so it's found a GPS signal. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the ski and allow it to idle for 10 seconds. Give the throttle a quick rev, turn off the ski. The ECU will now be ready. All right. All right, we are ready to ride.